Now, to start off the series that I'm doing, it's the unknown problem and how to solve it. And a lot of this is dumbed right down to the simplest terms, but feel free to research it because there's an awful lot of information out there. But I'm going to try and squeeze it all down into a 10 minute tape. So the best thing I can do is tell you just trust this and see if it works. Just try it out. The first thing you have to know is you have, you communicate um, with your eyes. You resend and receive information with your eyes, with smelling, tasting, hearing, touching, and intuition. Intuition is something that we've been blocked out to, to not listen to. It tells you the difference between right and wrong. If you do this and you're angry, then you'll get all of the wrong answers. So it's really, the, the whole goal to, to live is to live and to live a happy life. I mean, you've got to look at the basics of where you want to go. What's the end result of what you want? And it will always be you do want some kind of peace in your experience. You want the, the problem solved, which will end up giving you some form of peace. And so in order to find that answer, you have to feel what it feels like to feel love and you have to feel what it feels like to be peaceful and calm. A lot of really, really deep breathing and it can really, really calm you down. And part of solving your problem may take a little bit of time because you may have to learn how to feel those feelings while you learn this little technique. But the more you can get there, the more you'll get clearer and clearer answers. Now, the unknown problem can be found in every complaint and excuse you make. We think that the outside world is doing something to us. We think that there is this Illuminati out there doing something to us. We think that there is this BP oil doing something to us. And as long as you're looking at the world from they are doing it to us, you lose all control because it's a matter of you having to manipulate and control them to do something and the only person that you can actually control is yourself. So you have to learn how you are attracting it and how you are creating it. Big huge pill to swallow because you want to fight and say no that's them doing it to me. But you have zero power if you look at it from that perspective, but you gain all power if you recognize it's coming from you because you can only change you. You have total control over yourself. And if you're the one that's creating the problem, you are the one that can solve it. So if you look at it from that perspective, hard pill to swallow, uh, no, but a lot of sciences, this is dumbed right down. So every time you have a complaint, Every time you have an excuse, recognize that's a problem, and then here's the tool of how to solve that problem. The problem is going to be wrapped around you. The, the, the best way, this, this is hollow dynamics, and this guy, the way he describes it, is almost perfect. It's like a ball of string that's wrapped around the inside of you that makes you who you are. And while it's wrapped around inside you so tightly, you can't see it because it's you. So you have to take the problem out of you and then you can see it a lot more clear. It's, it's like holographics and if it, it, there is a lot of science out there, a lot of um, um, engineering. They make models or they look at something with a holo, like a model to see if it works and then if they can look at it from all angles they can see well it's not going to really work out that well we need to fix it here so when you look at the problem from a holographic perspective then you can see it from all angles you can see it inside outside upside down you can see it everywhere you can see it a lot clearer than if it's wrapped up inside you so the goal is is to take that problem outside of you and you have to use your imagination and it's right brained a um, lot of art a lot of you know stimulate your right brain to use your imagination but the goal is is 
give the problem a size and a color. And this fools around with your brain, but you know, how big is your problem? Give it a size, is it a size of the house, size of the universe, doesn't matter. Um, just give it a size and then give it a color. And then when you can see it out there in front of you, this big whatever that you've given it a description, you can actually see it out there then start asking it questions and ask what does it want and it'll say a lot of illogical things with you listen to your intuition because that's where you're going to you know ask it what it wants what's the first thing that comes into your head because it's going to be communicating with you and um, it's going to say a lot of weird things so just you know it might say well I'm trying to kill you or you know I'm tr trying to do a lot of weird stuff so the idea is to constantly have conversations with it and treat it like it's a, a baby, you know, a little kid. And, and a, a little kid is going to use some logic. So you want to understand its logic and try and teach it. If, if you had a little baby that had this logic going on and you knew it didn't make sense, it wasn't bringing peace, it wasn't bringing joy, then you need to teach this thing, this holographic image, this problem that you have, you need to teach it the answer. And so the goal really is, is to give your problem what it wants, because it wants something. Every time you have a problem, don't you want something? So that's like the problem. You know your problem is solved if you get what you want. So it's the same theory, it's the same concept that your problem is going to want something that you need to give it to it. And this works with cancer, it works, it works with any problem, anything that you can possibly communicate with. You just have to open up your perspective to everything's possible. Um, like if, if it was cancer, the cancer cells just want to die. So you have to have the conversation of it wanting to live. And you can literally talk a cell, because a cell is just, you know, look at it as another human being. Look at your body filled with a whole pile of little people in there, and some of them just want to die. So you've got to convince them to live. And the reason it doesn't want to live is what you need to know. And then you just need to have that conversation with it. And trust me, it does have the power to heal. But the first thing you've got to do, you've been programmed to believe illnesses can't be cured. You've, the medical community, all of advertising, everybody wants to think, make you think that things cannot be cured. And that is not true. They all are problems that can be solved. But there, you will find that every illness is caused because of a bad behavior. There's something that you're doing that isn't in agreement with yourself. And you are leading a path that somebody else wants you to. And you need to lead your own path. So this is why it's really, really powerful. And, and the big elites do not want you to know this information because this is going to make you go on your path. And, and probably go against all of society you know you'll probably look totally insane to a lot of people that are living around you because everybody around you wants you to live their path and you need to get onto your path and we all don't know how to do that but when you can learn to you know communicate with these problems and find that path. Give your problem what it wants, but have the communication. Find out what makes logic sense to you. And keep having that conversation. Keep getting yourself into a state of love while you're having that conversation. And what's happening is you're just going to start being aware of self. This is the big awareness that, that we're going to get. And it's really odd that this mind calendar is predicting this big awareness, this conscious awareness that we're going to have, and yet there's signs out there. We just don't know it's there. But it has been out there, and it has been proven to work for more than 20, 30 years. Um, the science community has been rejecting it, even though 
they have done the tests, they've gone into hospitals, they, you know, it's been proven to work. But it all is based on your belief systems and there's no experiment that proves that this guy actually believed it when he tried it. Because if you don't want to believe it, then it'll never work. So you have to believe first for it to work. So remember again, anytime you have a complaint or an excuse, that's a sign that you have a problem that needs to be solved and it's coming from you. So just transform it and have that conversation. Peace out.